Hello, check, check, check. Two and one the count. Wesley Calloway. Here in the top half of the second. Experiencing technical difficulties. And the count was full right there, three and two for Wesley Callaway. The pitch low and away, ball four, so takes his base. Man up to the bat is Thomas Figueretti. Figueretti with a 1 1 count. We'll give you a recap of the first. Bottom and top, when we have a free moment. But Weber leads 2-0 here early. That one outside, four ball, two and one. Thomas Figueredi, the senior. First baseman stands in. The man on base is the DH, Wesley Calloway. He's on the move. That one popped up into right field, deep. Right fielder catches, and a throw comes over, but not in time. So one down, and Calloway has to revert himself all the way back to first. Jacob East Bay, a senior second baseman. His first time up to bat. Oh, he's space set, good heart. The leg lift, the throw, that one clips the dirt. Wesley Calloway baits the catcher. But nonetheless, good stop by the catcher. To not cause any further damage, Wesley Calloway stays at first base when all is said and done. And well-placed pitch right there by Goodhart. Levels the count of one apiece. One and one the count, one down, one man on. That one high and outside, two and one. Good eye right there by Arise Bay. Hold off, knowing that it's not his pitch. He's gonna try to find something in his zone and in his wheelhouse to hit. It's a lot of fair ground in left field. If he's able to place one over the third baseman's head, we could be talking. Coach Heen giving the batter a set of signs. The man on deck, Nate Jones. But first, Ovis Bay with a 2 2 count. That one popped up in the right field. Right fielder says he's got it. He does. 
And Wesley Calloway cuts it close, but back in time. Nate Jones, the nine hole hitter, the shortstop stands in and tries to do something with the DH aboard. Here in the top half of the second, down two. And Jones looks to strike one. Sorry once again for the technical difficulties. But I believe we're rolling. The broadcast might be fuzzy and there might be a delay of my voice, but at least you still get to listen and watch the stream. Back to back strikes, back to back great pitches by Ethan Goodhart. Goodhart has done a good job so far in this ball game early. That one popped up. Watch out and out of play. Luckily it did not hit a doink. I don't think it hit a car. Fingers crossed, how about that? 0-2 the count, two down, one man on here in the top of the second. And strike three. Nate Jones not liking the call, but the ump knows best. And we get set for the bottom half of the second where the Weber Rams look to continue to attack. So while we have a quick moment, let's break down the first as there was no audio, so Starting off, Wyman Shaheen, he got hit by a pitch. Durden, he was the second man up to bat. Got a bunt out, but it was able to advance Shaheen to second. So in my eyes, did his job. Ryan McClellan, he walked. Taylor Craig struck out. There's a ground out to the second baseman, Will Holland. And then you just saw what happened right there in the top half of the second. Wesley Calloway gets the walk but then pop out, pop out to right, and Jones going down looking. The reason you can read 2-0 early on the scoreboard for Weber is because they were able to get things going. Joshua Greenspoon, the leadoff man, had a shot into center field. And that's how he was able to get aboard. And he's got legs. He was able to steal second and third. And he actually was the first one to come across. The man that got him in was Sam Rosenthal. And what looked like a promising play, that was a dribbler to the pitcher. Samuel Marshall was thinking too much in his head. Overthrew first base. And the ball went all the way to left field. And that caused some chaos. So Joshua Greenspoon, he came home. And the second one to come across was Sam Rosenthal. So two nothing. Weber here early in the bottom half of the second. But the man up to bat is Mark Grosswald, the right fielder. Good eye right there by Grosswald, 2-0. They count in his favor. Well placed off speed right there in the zone. Marshall's middle name is off speed. That one clips the end of the bat and maybe his shoulder Foul nonetheless, two and two. That one sent into deep left field. And Taylor Craig, all he can do is go look and finally is able to throw it in as Mark Grosswald 
hits a bomb into left field. Taylor Craig has to go all the way back. And by the time it's thrown in, he's standing at second, doing a celebration. Jeremy Wolf, the third baseman, the eight hole hitter, stands in <coughs> with a man in scoring position. See what he can do right here. A bunt attempt, pulls it back. No throw, Ryan McClellan baited the man back at second. That's Mark Groswald who just hit the double into left. <laughs> and a bunt of Tim. One on one the count. Man on deck is Elon Lieberman. But first, we await Jeremy Wolf for the 1-1 count. A man in scoring position as Samuel takes a good long look over at second base. The bunt attempt pulls it back, but it is a strike. One and two. And time called. There's a mound meeting. Assistant, assistant coach, Tim Turner. Back to the action. Supposedly, I'm the fan of the game. Whoa, whoa, look at me. I just got a shout out over the PA announcement saying I'm the Whitfield uh, fan of the game. And Mr. Rosenthal and company is the fan of the game for the home squad and white, the Weber Rams. Anyway, back to the action. Swing and a miss. Strike three up high. Jeremy Wolf goes down swinging. As the second K of the afternoon, Marshall is thrown. The nine hole hitter, Elon Lieberman, the left fielder, now stands in. See what he can do with Mark Grosswald at second. That one a bit outside and high. Ball one. And there's a strike, one on one to count. One on one, one down. Out one, fouled off. Out of play, one and two the count now. Throw gets past the third baseman. Left fielder Taylor Craig now scoops it up. And now there's runners at the corner. Mark Groswald stands at third and Elon Lieberman able to get one past Will Holland. He stands at first safely. Brings up the leadoff man, Joshua Greenspoon. Here in the second.
Green Spoon takes strike one. Green Spoon, the leadoff man, as we just mentioned, he had the uber success here in the first. He was able to get a shot into center, was able to get on base, stole second and third with his speedy legs, and he's actually the first of two runs to come across. Lieberman baiting Marshall over at first base. Pitch a bit high at eye level, one on one the count. That one low and at his feet now, two and one. Marshall ever since he overthrew Thomas Figueretti at first base. Ooh, friendly call, two and two, the count. It appeared a bit outside, but good framing nonetheless by the senior catcher and Ryan McClellan. We'll take it as a strike. So two and two, one down, one man on. And Lieberman in a pickle. These are the moments you live for. These are fun. Can he get them? He can. So there gets the man out, but a run does come across. So they get Lieberman out at second in the pickle. So there's two down, but with that, Mark Groswald plays it nicely, comes home as it is now three to nothing. Two and two, two down. Or Greenspawn, here it is, right back to the pitcher. Can he get it? The underhand toss, he can. That'll do it for the second. But one run comes across, and that is Mark Groswald. So three to nothing. Weber, as we get set for the top half of the third, the Wolfpack looking to get things rolling offensively as they've had a bit of struggles. See what they can do right here. But the man that has been standing in his way is Ethan Goodhart. The main man on the mound for the Rams. Goodhart, two Ks already on the afternoon. Only has walked one, actually two men. And then the backup boys, the defense, have helped him out. He's been able to throw good pitches enough where the Wolfpack offense has been able to just pop it up or that has resulted in ground outs and easy throws over across the diamond of first base or et cetera. So the Rams defense been positive here of early. There's a long way to go, three nothing here in the top half of the third where this is what you want, the top of the order. Wyman Shaheen, John Durden, and Ryan McClellan do up. McClellan. He's standing by the dugout, waiting for his turn. Not in his head, giving us a couple dance moves. Prom was the other night. But I guess you can boogie on the dance floor and on the baseball field. So here we are set to get the top of the third rolling. Lead off man, Wyman Shaheen. See what he can do here. In the first, he got hit by a pitch. Was able to get to second, but stranded as he looks to strike one right there.
That one right up the middle, through the gap. And that is the way you want to start if you're the Wolfpack. A powerful hit off the end of the bat. For the leadoff man who stands at first. John Durden was recorded for a bunt out in the first. He tried to bunt and was out. And that's how Wyman Shaheen was able to get to second, as we just mentioned, but was stranded nonetheless. That one popped up out of play. Watch out, spectators, and watch out, cars. First, not in time. Shane slides back in safely. Throw over once again at first. Eager is good heart to get the good leadoff man for the Wolfpack out. Mr. Shaheen is going to have to do some laundry. And nice pitch by Goodhart in there for strike two. Once again, over to first. With back safe standing in. Durden down 0-2 in the count, nobody out. He's able to find the grass, it could be promising. See what he can do here though. Swing and a miss, a chance for two. They only got one as Durden goes down swinging. So Ryan McClellan, the catcher, He walked in the first. See what he can do right here. And his second AB. In the Once again over to first. Man, he's eager. When you think you have a chance, let me tell you, you got none. I like my seven in gray pinstripes over there at first. Can't get them. There you go, Goodhart. That's a little advice for you. I went a bit high. One and the count. Once again, the throw over to first. Unsuccessful. The man on deck, Taylor Craig, as he waits. But first, he's got to get through Ryan McClellan. That one outside. 2 0. Going high up at his face. Watch out. Do we know the count in McClellan's favor? I would make Goodhart throw a strike here. Let's see what he can do. And there it is. Three and one. Spoke it into existence. Th 
three and one the count for the senior catcher Ryan McClellan. There's one down and the man at first. That's got to do laundry. By tomorrow is Wyman Chain. That one sent high and deep in a right field. Right fielder going back. And that one off the wall. He is on his way. And so is Ryan. Can he get him? They're both safe. And you see Dust dancing at second base. And that is one great hustle play by Ryan McClellan and company as the courtesy runner is Lofton Brown. But well, that is exactly what you want if you are the Wolfpack. Trying to get yourself back into this one. So Wyman Shaheen with the speedy legs gets himself at third and Ryan McClellan after the shot. I thought it had a chance. The wind might have not been blowing hard enough. At least it got far enough and hit the wall. Where he's able to turn on the jets and get to second and slide in safely. So the man that stands up with two on in scoring position is the tank. Known as the left fielder number 24, Taylor Craig, the senior. Struck out in the first. See what he can do here. With two on and only one out. That one gets away from the catcher. But nonetheless, a good stop. as Wyman Shaheen and the runners had to stay put. Shaheen at third, courtesy runner for the catcher. At second is Lofton Brown, number three. That one fouled off down third base line. One on one the counts for the man in gray pinstripes. Promising look for the wolf pack. If they can put one and find the grass. That one good stop by the catcher once again, Joshua Greenspine. But Taylor Craig so diligently and has such a well-rounded baseball mind that he knows when in, when not to swing, and that one, if he swung, he'd be swinging that dirt, and so I'm glad he held off. He's now ahead in the count, two and one, one down, two on. Here in the top half of the third. That one, can he get through? Can he beat the bag? He can! Wow. And so, William Shaheen comes across the boards as the first run for the Wolfpack. And when it looked like there might have been one or two outs, the shortstop not able to cleanly make the throw over to first. So good job by Lofton Brown, hesitating for a moment, realizing the throw was going to be off. Then he advanced to third, and Taylor Craig was able to turn on the wheels just enough to rev up the engine as he's over at first with a short lead now. Runners at the corners now. For the third baseman, Will Holland. Grounded out to the second baseman in the first. But once again, more of a promising look here. Only one down and two on. This is what you want if you're the Wolfpack. To get a couple back right here. They got one, so now they're only down two. That one, ooh, off the end of the bat. A chance for two. They're only gonna get one. But one run comes in, so we'll take it. It is now two to three. Taylor Craig does advance the second. 
even though Will Holland got out at first base. Wesley Calloway, he walked in the second. Let's see what he can do right here. That one. Well sounded off the end of the bat, but foul down the first base line. Owen won the count, two down. The man in scoring position is Taylor Craig. That one high. One on one. He's able to capitalize and put one in play. I know I keep saying it would be promising, but it would be a big turn in this game. Momentum shifts wise for the Wolfpack. As in this, the top half of the third, they've been able to. Uh, it feels like be a bit more calm up at the plate and be more consistent as they've got two back. Still down one, so your score is 3-2. Weber in front. 1-1 one, one count. That one high, 2-1. and one. Good eye by Callaway. Callaway, the man found out last week that he is just got committed to Greensboro College to go play D3 ball. That one sent into sharp center. Will it drop? It will. Can he round them home? Throw comes across. It will not be close. And we got ourselves a tie ball game after the D3 hitter hit a bomb deep enough. It did stay in the park, but you know what I mean, into center field. And that's exactly what you wanted. So we've got ourselves a 3-3 ball game. I'm on the edge of my seat with Diet Coke and popcorn in hand. Grab yours. Figueredi takes ball one. Figueredi, when he's not on the baseball diamond, he enjoys country music and cheering on UNC hoops. Who you got, UConn or Purdue? I don't know if he'd like that one as a UNC fan. I got UConn personally. There you go, Thomas. Nate Jones. Who do you got? He is a college basketball enthusiast and has a great mind for it. I always enjoy picking his brain about college basketball. Two and one to count. Two down. For the man who can juggle. That's interesting too. I'd like to see that happen one time, Thomas. Maybe sign him up for the circus. That one. Can it stay fair? It's fair. He's on the move. We had to wait a second. And let's go Wolfpack. A Wolfpack fans roaring on my right and on my left. I hear a bunch of boos. So Wesley Calloway advances to third. Thomas Figueredi after the fair shot. Deep in the corner of right field stands at right, or stands at second, my apologies. Jacob Ispay, the man that stands in. And there's a mound meeting with Ethan Goodhart and Joshua Greenspawn. <laughs> Trying to get on the same page. Got 
see what Jacob Eastbay can do. With two on, two out. But it appears that the minimum has kind of shifted. A wolf back way, that one. Over the pitcher. Can he get there? No, not in time, but the Wolfpack have done their job and tied this one up. We've got a good one on our hands as Marshall and the Backstreet Boys get set to try to shut them down on the offensive side of things. After that positive top half of the third for the Wolfpack, Samuel Marshall able to get some, what it might appear, good rest and hydration in the dugout. So we'll see the junior arm has an arsenal of pitches he can throw, loves the off speed. He's been a consistent, reliable guy all season, known as the silent assassin, one of the more quieter and keeps yourself guys on the team. But when he steps out on the mound, the beast mode switch flips on, and he'll attack you with everything he's got. So we'll see how he attacks Josh Walken, the center fielder, and his second AB. And the bottom half of the first, he grinded out to the pitcher. That one popped up in play. Right fielder John Durden says he's got it. He does. One down, his hat flies off. He's got too much hair on that head. Rosenthal. Take a deep breath, Marshall, as he does. This is one of Marshall's enemies. Here's the pitch. That one, a grounder to the third baseman. Cleanly collects, throw over to first in time. And two quick ones. Dania Natterman, the shortstop. Takes a couple of practice swings and gets set. Struck out in the first. It's been two quick ones right here. That one though, low. The ball one. That one rocketed, what a diving play by the third baseman. Can he convert? In time, what a play. Will Holland connects, and the Wolfpack faithful are enthusiastic about that one. One great play, and what I was telling you, the momentum has switched the Wolfpack way. But man, oh man, a one, two, three inning. And you hear the Wolfpack players howl in excitement after that one. I jumped out of my seat. The popcorn flew everywhere. The Diet Coke spilled all over me. But it was all worth it after the one great play by Will Holland. Takes a lot right there. That one coming at you on the ground. He dives in front of the bag, able to lay out, put the glove in front of him, able to grab it cleanly, grip it, has to get up quickly, make a quick turn, throw consistently 
on time over at first base. It's just ja, 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 ja. all these things have to go pretty much perfectly in order to make that play. And they did nonetheless. Great job by Will Holland in the Wolfpack defense. We'll see what the nine hole hitter and Nate Jones can do to start things off. Jones struck out looking. As we get said, for the top half of the fourth. Nine, one, and two are due up. Back-to-back -back balls thrown. Check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. Might be experiencing technical difficulties. But if you can hear me, that one is low. The ball one. One and two the count, two down. You have a tied ball game at three apiece. I think we're back in an action. There just might be a delay. Sorry for the inconvenience. Out on a chopper to the first baseman, the throw over to the pitcher and complete. And that'll do it for the top half of the fourth. We remain tied at three and three. But we get set for the bottom half of the fourth where Weber tries to retake the lead. But Debo Samuel, oh uh, wait, that's a football player. That's uh, the man on the mound, or maybe I say Michael Jordan. Anyway, Samuel Marshall on the mound with the Backstreet Boys trying to do something special. They had uber success in the last one. That was a quick one on the defensive side of things for the Wolfpack last inning. See if they can do it again here. <clears throat> Once again, sorry for the inconvenience and the struggles and the fuzziness. I can hear it on my end, so I bet you can hear it on yours. We'll try to get things fixed and rolling and have things all situated and good and clear tomorrow, but you've got a fuzzy broadcast in my voice for a couple more innings and a good one as it's three to three. Nowhere I'd rather be on this Monday afternoon. That one, between the gap of first and second. And that is a good start. For the man to start things off, that was shy walking. He was definitely not shy at the moment there. He took first pitch 
and hit it well. Good heart. A man up to the plate in a pitcher pitcher duel. To the count for Goodhart. Samuel got him last time in the first. Second at that here. And the four, the bun attempt. Did he go? They're saying he didn't. And he pulled the bat back. One and one the count. Low over to first, leisurely and in time. Shy walking is the man at first. After he sent one sharply on the ground in between the first and second gap. Out one popped up in play. Right fielder John Durden says he's got it and he does. There's one down. Mark Groswald, the right fielder. In his second at bat. In the second, had a shot in the left field and he was the third Weber run to come across. But now it's down 0-2. And Marshall finish him off and get out number two. Fucking gross while it stay alive. That one popped up in play. Can we get it? Figueredi has some room. He's got it. And there's two down. Baseman struck out in the second and then the third he grounded out to the third baseman out was the Holland high praising dive where Holland dove and made a saving grab was able to throw it over to first base in time for the third out it was a big momentum shift in the ball game Won the count. Four wolf. That one high. Two and one the count. Two down. And the man at first is shy walking. Swing and I missed strike two. Got him on the slow curve. want to get right here right now you don't want to face the next batter that one a bit outside two and two now the count all level two down Durden on the run. Can he make a play? 
Carter Hightower, the catcher in the bullpen, can make the play. Wish they had a rule where uh, if you have a catcher in a bullpen, you can make the play, it's third out. I don't got that at the high school level. Two and two, two down. Out one, sent sharply on the ground to the second baseman. Oispe throws over in time. The quick toss for the quick third out. That'll do it for the fourth. We head to the top half of the fifth. We're all tied at three apiece. The new man on the mound for the Warrior Rams, that's Danya Natterman. So we'll see what magic he can cook up as we get set for the top half of the fifth. Callaway due up. He walked in the second and then the third at a shot to center. Oh, his left strand is the third and he takes strike one right there. One low and in the dirt at his feet. One and one now. Two and one the count. Four Callaway. So you can get things started here in the tie ball game. Out one, a chopper to the third base, and he's safe. That one gets away. From Jeremy Wolf, the third baseman. Took a high hop and he was not able to grab it cleanly. And was not able to make the float consistently over to first base. And so Callaway is the man at first, but the courtesy runner. Potentially Jackson Wallace. Cannot see the name and number currently on the back. We will get that to you shortly. Twenty-one, I believe that is Jackson Wallace. So 
Wallace, the man at first base. One attempt. And it looks like he got him. Wallace playing the risk game. He gets rewarded. What the Weber fans. Let the home plate umpire hear it. Nonetheless. One attempt, kind of reach it out for it. That's not what you want if you're Thomas Figueredi and Mike Shane. What you want here from Figueredi, potentially just a line drive. Coming simple, right up the middle, or just anywhere between the gap. I know I'm talking like it's easy, but you can make it. And right there, swinging a miss. He is upset with himself. So, East Bay. Popped out to the right fielder in the second and grounded out to the first baseman in third. Here in the fifth. With Wallace aboard, courtesy running for Callaway. I'll see what he can do. He takes strike one. Good pitch by Natterman. The nine hole hitter and Nate Jones is due up. by the catcher. That's green spawn. One and one, one down. That one of the end of the bad but foul. And out of play. One and two. Jiro Ispe, you want to take his time up here at the plate. Got to be on your toes, though, nonetheless, because you can throw whatever. You got to be ready for it. Here it is. That one low. Good eye. Two and two. Count level. One down. The man at first is Wallace. Natterman gets the sign, takes the deep inhale and exhale. A pitch, Hunter on the move. A chance for two, there's one. And that will get the lead runner. But Jacob East Bay will be safe at first. Jacob East Bay, a man in safe at first, but there are two outs. And the Weber fans are letting Blue hear it. A nine hole hitter. One high for ball one. So goes over first. Not in time, at least they have a little good old dirt on that jersey. One of the count for the nine hole hitter. 
Shortstop Nate Jones. Allen a bit outside. Low over. back in safely. Out one. In there. One and two the count. That one sent sharply in the left field. Runners on the move. Got to make the throw, the slide. Can he get there? He's safe. And what a play right there by Jacob East Bay. He slides in safely to third. And the dust rises. And while that's all going on, Nate Jones with his shot in the shallow left, he turns on the Jets and stands at second. at first. Jones at second. And Arispe at third. The bases are loaded for Ben Yarborough. He takes strike one. He's got to look at it. See what he can do here, though. That one. About off the end of the bat. Natterman has got him. 0 2. A golden opportunity right here for the Wolfpack if they can convert. Yarborough, you gotta fight. That one high. One and two. Yarborough brought up on the JV level because he's had so much success. Coach Shane, JV coach, and Alan Porter have talked. And so he's getting a shot right here. That one. He's out. And so you leave the bases stranded. Coach Shane. Walks back to the dugout. Set for the bottom half of the fifth.
see right here in the bottom half of the fifth what the Wolfpack can do defensively. Yvonne Lieberman, a leadoff man, start things off. Takes ball one, nine one outside. And still on the mound is Samuel Marshall. That one on the ground. Can the shortstop Nate Jones get it? He collects. Can he throw over in time? He's got it in and is in time. And Marshall gives the clap of positivity to Nate Jones. So there's one down. Joshua Greenspun on the top of the order back up. That one sent rocketed into center field. And all you can do is look. Weber has regained the lead after that one was sent in the center field. And without a doubt, you knew that one was coming off the end of the bat. It got left hanging. And Weber retakes the lead. And now Marshall stands on the mound and has to face Josh Walken. I'm gonna be so interested in seeing if Marshall's able to regain, not let that one phase him. And he's able, there's out number two. Out one. Fouled back to the backstop. One and two. That one up the middle. And that one through the splickets of Nate Jones's legs. Rosenthal is safe. We got a pitcher pitcher duel right here. And Donya Matterman, Donya Natterman, with my apologies. Versus Samuel Marshall. That one in there for a strike on one. Four to three, the Rams lead this one. It looks a strike two. Back to back good place pitches in the zone. Line Marshall, see if you can get out of this one without any more trouble. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Natterman, and we head to the six. But Weber's got themselves the lead, four to three. After the man, the myth, the legend, 
the one who's really hurt the wolf pack tonight, Joshua Greenspoon, a leadoff man. He's already come across the board twice, and he just had the solo shot to put the Rams ahead. See what Natterman and company can do. The Wolf Pack offense due up. Let's see what the senior catcher and Ryan McClung can do to start things off here in the top half of the six. Down one. He takes ball one right there. That one. Will it remain fair? It'll be foul. One and one the count. For the man who stands in. That one low and in the dirt. Two and one. That one off the end of the bat. Two and two. Steps out, tries to regather himself. He digs in the left hand batter's box in his set. Swing and a miss, strike three. Natterman sends McClellan back to the dugout. Taylor Craig, the man due up. Trying to get things going. That one popped up in play. Who wants it? Right fielder says he's got it. He does. Two down. I really do think the momentum has slightly shifted to Weber's way. I really think the kill point that Wolfpack were not able to capitalize on or when he had the bases loaded in the fifth. But then you decide that Ben Yarbo needs to come in. And I'm not shooting on Ben Yarbo, I'm just saying. John Dernan has been in the game, and yeah, he's not had the best of afternoons, but I don't know. It's a coach's decision and you have to live by it with as the coach. Well, there's still time. That one, it's into a gap. That might be something positive for the Wolfpack can start things going. And there are two down. Can you start a two out alley? We'll find out as Wesley Callaway is due up. What you gotta do in these moments. Holland on first. 
That one. Can it drop? It does. Can he get to third? He stays put at second and makes the start play. Galloway aboard now with the shallow shot in the right. Thomas Figaretti, first baseman, due up. A mound meeting with the manager. Thomas Figaretti. It's the stern talking to from Coach Shane. Figuretti, the Figinator. That should be a Wendy's order, you know, like, there's a Dave's Double. I would order the Figinator. Oh, double patty, cheese, bacon, all the fixings. Mouth watering. Oh, and one to count. Two down, and two on. Here in a primed moment, which is the top half of the six. Wolfpacker down one, four to three. The Weber Ram. The winner of this. Have a better chance to control the region. That one outside. One on one to count. Chopper right there. Can he get it? He can. And that's the third out. The new man on the mound. Is Martin. That's Case Martin. They got to give him some love right there as he's trying to throw the high heat and get his arm warmed up. But he is a young fella on the mound, a freshman. Has pitched a few times this season. But it's been a while since he's seen the bump. Let's see what he can do right here. In a big moment, does the pack need him? We get set for the bottom half of six, but nonetheless, Pops and Samuel Marshall, one great job he did this afternoon. Marshall is such a reliable guy. He's a part of the one-two punch. He's number two in the rotation. Number one, resting for the future is paying over to. So it goes down to second. We'll see what the young buck in Case Martin can do as he gets a fist bump 
I'm the third baseman. Shy walking. Designated hitter. His last at bat was in the fourth. He was definitely not shy at the moment as he put one between first and second base gap. How many fouls off at the end of the top of the bat? I know one count. I want high ball one, one one. Out one low in the dirt, two and one. Trying to put a bit too much on it. I know you want to give it some oomph, to say the least, but you got to be able to be controlled to some level. Right there, that's beautiful. Put it right there one more time. That's my advice. The count now full. If you can get one out right here, I might be a confidence booster. Out one. Out off. Martin takes a deep breath after that one. Swing and a miss, strike three, down. Goes shy, walking to start the bottom half of the six. Exactly what you need if you're Case Martin, the young fella. Now you have the pitcher duel. Well, actually the old pitcher duel, my apology. Ethan Goodhart, he started the game out for the Rams. But Natterman was the man that has come into relief for him. Let's see if he finishes the game. But 2 0 the count, 2 with good heart. <coughs> that one high, same play, same result. 3 0 the count. Dug out Rowdy. And there's ball four. Take your base. First walk of the afternoon for the freshman. Mark Groswald, he popped up to the first baseman in the fourth. We'll see what he can do here in the bottom half of the six. Wolf pack. Got to get out of this one. I have one more chance. You want the leech damage done right here so you have a better chance on the offensive side of things. Go over to first. Not in time. First wall stands in with an 0-1 count. Martin's got the hand sign. Out one. Is it a chance for two? There's not. It might be even worse. And even with the troubling play, Jacob Eastbay tried to get the double. It was inconsistent. Even with that trouble. No run comes across the board. But you now have runners at the court. Time 
I'm called. The runners at the corners. When the mound visit breaks. You have Ethan Goodhart. He walked and is now at third after the chaos led by Jaco East Bay. Mark Groswald, the man that stands and talks to the first base coach. So runners at the corners. One down. Rams up. Four to three. Martin, he's got the pitch, and we're set. Einstad, Evan Einstad, due up. Coming into the game for the first time. And there's a strike. One and one to count. That looked pretty nice from right here. That one through the gap. One run coming across. Goodhart comes home. It's now five to three. Roswald stands at second. And Einstead with the shot at second base stands at first. That one popped up out of play. Lieberman, the nine hole hitter, stands in, in the set. I went to the count, or Lieberman. If you're Martin in the head in the count, you've got to be able to get him out right here. You do not want any chance base is loaded. I know he's ahead of the count, but still, that one popped up. And watch out, fans. I almost got clocked with the baseball. Glad I did not. Owen two. Lieberman, Martin. Two aboard, one down. That one. <laughs> Lieberman safe at first. The throw not even attempted by the third baseman. Grosswar stand at third, Einstead at second, and Lieberman at first. Joshua Greenspawn, the man that 
threatened the pack all night and capitalized. He's due up. That one popped up. Who wants it? Good hustle play nonetheless by a race bag. Just dropped it at the end. Five to three the score. Here in the bottom half of the six. Back down to the Rams. In full stampede mode. And they run through the pack. And this one. And in things. Orc in the pack. B down two. And have one last chance. In the top out of the seventh. Time called. Strike three. There's two down. The base is still loaded. Josh Walken <coughs> is the man due up. What we want Josh Walken to do is to go back walking to the dugout after three pitches. See what he can do though. That one inside. Watch out. Ball one. <laughs> that was a, a pitch to see if you're awake, buddy. He is. Oh, he had to move out of the way quickly. Out one low and in the dirt. Two and home. Oh. Walking ahead in the count. No place to put him, except at first with a run to come in. It would be ideal to get this man out. And Martin throws strike one right there. Good pitch after the... Back-to-back -back balls he initially just threw. Good to get a strike called. That one. This could be it. Right fielder runs back. And that'll do it for the bottom half of the six. Weber has a two-run lead. It's five to three. As we get set for the top half of the seven, it's the Wolfpack's last hope. Shaheen and company having the mound. Not the mound meeting, what am I saying? But a, a final hoorah meeting. These are the moments you live for. These are the moments that determine are you four time region champions? or you're gonna fold in the moment. Natterman gonna finish the game for the Rams. You got eight, nine, and one. Do up. 
That's Jaco Eastbay, Nate Jones, and Wyman Shaheen. Starts with a base runner. Can you get the ball in play? And can you get yourself on a base? At least they take strike one. <coughs> that one popped up out of play. Going to the count for the man in the box at Jacob East Bay. I want a bit outside, takes ball one. Gotta be smart here at the plate. Not one, good eye. From 0 and 2 to 2 and 2. The count now leveled. Here we go, he's set, he's ready for the moment. The pitch, that one, a line drive up the middle and a good start for the Wolfpack in the seventh. Now the nine hole hitter and Nate Jones, the shortstop, is due up. See what he can do. Put the man aboard. In these moments, you've got to be confident. You cannot let the moment get to you. And there's ball one on the outside. Jones sends one up the middle. There's now two on with the top of the order. The Wolfpack. There and hunting season. So Jones after the shot up the middle is at first. Ruiz Bay advances to second, and you got the top half of the order up. Five to three, your score. <coughs> and the new man on the mound, it appears. It is indeed number nine, Josh Walken. He walked to the mound. We'll see what he can do with the ball in his hands in the big moment. A winner of this. Has a good control in hand of the region. Currently, Weber, nine and two in the region. Pack eight and two. Who wants it more? 
These are the moments you live for. Shaheen, the top of the order, getting set. <coughs> Walken has got some sidearm action here. As I'm watching him warm up, Shaheen now digs in and is set to hopefully take the sidearm action and whatever walk-in has got by storm. We'll see what happens right here, right now. But two on, nobody out. Here's a big moment in this game. Down two. But you got the men on base. And there's the sidearm. Right there, in full swing. I wouldn't want the count. Shane saw it. Time called. Now, the catcher, Joshua Greenspawn, goes out for a mound meeting. Team counters with walking. So we're back to the action here. He looks back. Here's the sidearm action. Swing and a miss. Strike two. It's nasty. Not much you can do. I get why you would want to. Throw him to try to close out the game. On deck, Harrison Brantley. But first, you have Shaheen. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike three, my apologies. One down. Harrison Brantley enters the game. Second lock and bound is safe. Man, what walking has got is nasty. He is got these guys walking a tightrope. Just swinging in air. That one! It's fair! All the way to the wall! One run is coming home! And we've got ourselves a ball game! Four to three. The sidearm action can be hit off of, and we just saw it right there in play by Harrison Brantley. Now it's four to five. Jones at third. Harrison Brantley stands at second. Ryan McClellan, the main man. Two on, only one down. 
Can he get him? Right here, right now. And there's strike one on the inside. Walk in. He loves to go to the left side. It's all he's thrown. Surprising one. Goes right there again. That one's inside. One on one. Lefty versus lefty. Who wanted more? We know where he's going, McClellan. On the left side, it's gonna be inside. He clips that one of the end of the bat and foul. One and two. <laughs> Brantley did his job. Can McClellan do his? one low and in the dirt. Good eye. Two and two. One down. Two on. Jones at third. Brantley at second. Both in scoring position. They only need one run to come across. Out one. Way outside. Three and two. The count now full for the sidearm shower. Time called. Green Spoon goes out to talk to Walken. That's a short meeting. Buzzer just got on the same page. We'll see a big pitch right here at three and two. One down and two on. No place to put them if it's low and outside. And the bases are loaded. A big moment by Coach Shaheen right here. After McClellan makes and takes the walk. He takes him out of the game, gets him a courtesy runner. And it is Carter Hightower. Nate Jones, the senior at third, coaching him up, yelling, no picks. And they got the first base coach and Justin Kruger coaching up the young fella. The bases are loaded. A big moment here. Who can control the region? Only one out. Taylor Craig, the tank, versus walking. Who wants it? Who wants to be walking home with a W? And who wants to be walking with an L? Taylor Craig is set. Base is loaded. Jones at third. Brantley at second. What well, was McClellan? It's now Hightower at first. One and oh. One and one that counts. That one foul 
and out of play. One and two. That one fouled off, and Taylor Craig lives another day. A big play right there, as he was able just to clip the bat to stay alive. <coughs> one and two, one down, bases loaded, nothing better. Need one run to tie. You'd want multiple though. Two and two, way outside. The count now even. Sidearm movement is nasty. You get batters like that, snap of the finger. Also, sometimes don't know where it's going to be. It's kind of uncontrollable. That one outside. The count now full. Three and two. The base is loaded. A moment in the senior's hands. Five to four, Weber with the one run lead. Can it be changed? So Taylor Gregg goes down looking. The bases are loaded. For the junior, Will Holland. There's two down. Can Will Holland get the job done? Time called in a much anticipated matchup. And can he get there? He cannot. The game is over. And Weber takes the win, five to four. When all things are said and done, it's a good one. But it falls in the Rams' favor. Your final, five to four. The Wolfpack falling this one in a nail biter. Rams now advance to 12 and 5 and 10 and 2 in region play and the Wolfpack fall to 11 and 8 and 8 and 3 in region play that was one heck of a ball game to watch unfortunately didn't fall the Wolfpack's favor but they should not hang their heads down. They should hang them high. And let's try to get them back tomorrow at home. A big win for the Weber Rams. A tough one nonetheless for the Wolfpack. But we'll see 
what the Wolfpack can do tomorrow. And we've got a black screen anyways. Besides that, I'm Jack Cunningham saying good night. Your final five to four and a good one. Thank you for watching.